What's up guys, it's the BMD, Brickmarks Daily, back again today. Uh, it's been a very long time since I've uploaded a video, so I'm hoping to get back into it. I have a little bit of a different uh, setup. It should look a little crisper, a little brighter, um, but it should be just about the same uh, style videos uh, coming out. Um, today I just have a small Hoth mock to share with you guys, um, and so let's get straight into it. So this build is pretty simple, it's built on um, two base plates as you can see in the bottom. Uh, one of them is the smaller, uh, this side is the smaller 8x16, and then this side is the 16x16 base plate. It's just supposed to represent a tiny bit of the door and the um, shield generator from Hoth, as well as the Millennium Falcon in front. There's a few details in the back, but let's get to the front first of all. Um, so my main idea for this build um, was to have the Millennium Falcon um, just hovering over Hoth and everything else kind of just uh, came along with it. So the Millennium Falcon is a small build that I've just placed on uh, this stick kind of uh, thing to hold it in place. Um, and you've seen LEGO build a lot of different types of uh, Millennium Falcons. Uh, this obviously has the circular dish um, as seen in... Um, the original trilogy. I hope I can get uh, some focus on that. Um, but I mean, it's it's pretty simple, pretty simple build. Um, use a couple of these six by six circular pieces uh, around the top and on the bottom, and then down here for some extra detail is um, one of those two by two uh, kind of spin pieces, except without the um, circle attached to it. Um, and I tried to use as much silver as I could on some pieces, but LEGO uh, doesn't use too much silver, and obviously the Millennium Falcon is not supposed to look super shiny. Over to the side, on the other side of this build, is the shield generator. Um, the uh, kind of inverted studs and, I know I don't know, greebling on it kind of makes it look a little bit off on these lines. Um, but I feel like it looks alright. Um, this is not actually uh, attached to the build. It's just inserted to a few holes that hold it in place. Um, there's a couple stickers on either side as grates. Um, those came in some, I think, a Lego Chima set uh, from 2014, I believe. Um, and now I'll get to the back of this build. So, inside the back, um, it's just, you can see the door, um, with a couple little boxes on either side to represent, uh, different electronic systems or cargo crates inside of the Hoth Rebel base. There's also an alarm on this side, um, that does not light up, just to, just to represent an alarm to go off when the Empire is seen. Also in here is, um, the snow speeder, um, or a snow speeder. It's not based off of any specific snow speeder because this micro um, kind of build design is very difficult to uh, get a lot of detail in. And I almost didn't include a snow speeder because uh, I was working on this part of the build for so long. But on the front here, I just used a couple uh, teeth pieces, one by one with uh, down sloping teeth. Um, to create that uh, strange triangular curved shape in the front of the snow speeder. So I feel like that worked out pretty well, as well as these um, gray bars uh, connecting the wings on, kind of look like guns, um, but just very little detail on the micro build there. Um, on the other side of the Hoth base, there's a couple uh, icicles coming down and then that crate behind there. And the door uh, inside the build you can close um, and then just open it up again. It's not on any anything specific, just in some rails, I guess, inside there. So that's pretty much all for this build um, to share with you today. Uh, hopefully, I'll be making some more uh, mocks and sharing them with you all. But for today, it's just a small build. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Um, BMD out.